What's going on everybody? It's Carmine from Barmine Tech and we are back with another video and it's going to be a super useful one if you are somebody who doesn't have a public, uh, a static public IP address. So most people won't, especially if you live in a normal residential house or maybe an apartment building or something like that because typically your consumer based internet plans don't give static public IP addresses. So that means that their, your ISP leases out your public address to you and every now and then it is going to change. So what this means is it's going to be an issue if you're somebody who runs a VPN or if you run self-hosted services that you make public outside of your house because now when you try to access those devices or services outside your house and your ISP changes your public IP address, now you have to change your public IP address. You need to figure out what it is. So it means hopefully you have a backdoor in to figure out your public IP address or some other way to, and then you have to change all your public IP addresses and all the configs for any services you have. So what does all this rambling mean? Pretty much if you run yourself a VPN out of your house to access your home web, your public IP changes because your ISP changes the lease. Now you can't VPN back into your home lab. So this could be a big hassle. And today we're gonna to solve this problem in under 10 minutes. So we're gonna use Cloudflare's DDNS, we're gonna use Docker, and we're gonna use a, a domain through Cloudflare. So you do need a domain. You can go buy a super cheap one, probably get one for under 10 bucks a year. And then we're gonna need Docker set up with Portainer. So I have videos for that. I'll put links in the description. I'll put a link to Cloudflare. And then we're just going to need to watch this video, so I'll show you how to do it. So let's get right into this video. So to start, we are going to need to come into Portainer. I am using the Nova Spirit self-hosted template. So I'm going to come into here. I'm going to click on my local environment. And you can see it's a brand new environment. I actually just spun up a Linode machine for this because I already have this in my house and I don't feel like leaking out my public IP. Sorry. So I'm going to use this Linode machine. It's going to be destroyed by the time this video is out, so don't even try hitting it and uh, it's just super convenient for what I needed to do. So we're gonna come over to app templates and we're gonna find the Cloudflare, so I'm just gonna search. And you can see here's the Cloudflare DDNS. I'm gonna click on it, but I'm not deploying it yet because we do need to add some information. So I'm gonna come over to Cloudflare now and you can see I have this domain. I'm gonna use barminetech.com. We need to add a couple of DNS records. So we're going to come over here. This is the page now. I know I usually don't show the DNS records, but we're going to this time. So we're going to come over here. I'm going to click add record and we need a couple A records. So we need a root and then we're going to point it to the public IP address of the Linode machine. So I'm just going to come back over here and copy it. And I don't want it proxied. So I'm going to hit save. So now that we made the A record, we need to come in here and we need to make a, another record. So we're going to make a CNAME record. And we're going to use www. And I'm just going to hit at. And you can see over here, Cloudflare gives us the information. So it's going to tell us that www.barmindtech.com is an alias of barmindtech.com. So that's good. And then we're going to turn over the proxy because we don't need that. And we're going to leave TTL auto. And we're going to do the same thing for the other record. We're going to leave that auto too. Try to cancel that one and then I'm going to save the new CNAME record. So now the CNAME record is in place. So while this goes, we do need to make a API key. So this API key is going to be specific to me and you're going to need to make your own API key. So I'm just going to show you how to make the API key real quick. So we're going to come over to account. We're going to come over to my profile authentication uh, just kidding we're gonna come to API tokens so when you come over to API tokens we're gonna come over to create token and then we're gonna edit zone DNS and then we're going to come over to zone resources and this is where we're gonna change select something so you're gonna select a specific zone this is if you have multiple domains I have multiple domains so I need to select which zone if you have one it'll probably just show you just a specific one still and it'll show you the one domain and then you come come over and you're gonna select the domain so I'm not going to show you my other domains, but these are the domains. I'm going to select the barmindtech.com domain. And then other than that, we're all good. And then we're just going to hit continue to summary. Then we're going to create the token. And you can see here, it gives us the token. So again, this is going to be gone by the time you see it. 
so don't try to use it but this is how you would get your API token so now I'm gonna copy it and if we come back over to Portainer we need this we're gonna give it the token and then we're gonna give it the domain we're using so that's what I'm gonna be using and we're gonna change proxied to false and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna deploy the container you can see it was a success and if I come over here I'm gonna come into the logs and you can see it's actually already working and every five minutes it's going to try to see and make sure the public IP address doesn't change so we can, here we can see that here's the public IP address so that's the Linode machine and it's not going to work with HTTPS because I don't have that set up there's no IPv6 address which is fine but you can see right in here it's going through Cloudflare DDNS and it's looking for it and it gives you the information and now we're all set so now if I open up the CMD farmindtech.com and there's the public IP address of the machine that I'm working with so this is going to update and then every time it changes it's going to automatically change the DDNS so now that you have a Cloudflare DDNS running you can see the public IP address is working we could use it in different containers like WireGuard so just for an example I'll show you if I come over to WireGuard how we would use this um, I'm just going to come into WireGuard server real quick and here it would ask you for certain information but now instead of using your public IP address you would just put in your uh, your domain for your Cloudflare DDNS so now every time that it updates it's going to update the DDNS and then uh, WireGuard will use the domain to get back your home network instead of you having to change your public IP address so it's super convenient and it was so simple and being the way that you used to have to do this was a lot easier. So before I used to do this with the Cloudflare DDNS container, I actually used to do this on a Raspberry Pi. So I would have a little Raspberry Pi Zero that was running. I think I ran my VPN too and I ran a cron job on there that had to update with the, the Cloudflare domain with an API token and it had like a whole script that had to run and it was a whole process and honestly it was really complicated. I saw it years ago in a video, I ran it for a long time and I was always worried like something happens, it's over. Like if it, I don't know how to fix it, where now this is so simple, if I blow out the container and restart it, it's three lines of stuff that I have to enter in, if that. So the Cloudflare DDNS container is definitely the way to go and we were able to set it up in under 10 minutes. I think even under 15 minutes, if I include set up the Linode machine that I'm using to run it on. But you already have a machine hopefully running with Docker and Portainer if you've been watching the videos. So that should make it even easier. And if you don't, go back to my videos. I'll link it down below how to set up Docker and Portainer. I'll even include a video in the description of how to install WireGuard. That'll be the most convenient container to use it with, would be the WireGuard server for the DDNS Cloudflare uh, container. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it was super helpful, super helpful for me. This is a service that I've been needed again for a while. So I can only imagine that everybody else is going to need it. So I hope you liked the video. Please subscribe, drop a like, because it really helps the, con the channel to grow. We've been growing immensely, and uh, we're almost there. We're almost at my goal. I want to hit 1,000 subscribers, and we're getting closer there every day. So I appreciate everybody who's been watching. And I've also noticed there's been a lot of comments lately asking about Discord channel or if we have any kind of like communication set up. I'm gonna make a Discord server soon. It, it's in progress. I just haven't found the extra time to start making it yet. But I'm gonna start working on that. And when it's done, I'm definitely gonna let you guys know and put the information in the description so you can start joining the channel and we can start talking up and make a great community. So I hope you guys liked the video. I hope it was super helpful and I'll see you in the next one.